Hi everyone, I'm in Aspen. I'm just about to leave, going home today. Um, but I thought there's a lot of new people on who may not, or may sort of sit there and wonder why I don't list a set of goals every single day or uh, title my videos differently. When I joined the 100 day challenge, I did so because I really feel like I have always done that. I really feel like I've always manifested things and, and that has been fairly easy for me. So my intention for joining the 100 day challenge was to inspire people and to show them that it is possible to manifest things. Um, so, okay, for example, at the beginning of this third challenge that I'm doing now, I said I would really, really like, and I didn't actually know if it was possible in 100 days, but I said, in the next year, I would really like to meet as many of the people on the 100 day challenge as possible. And that was before I had even had tickets to go to Oprah or any of the Chicago stuff was coming about. So as it turns out, I have met a stack of you. So, so that has manifested. Um, one of my early, early manifestations when I first joined in, the first thing was to get a lot of press for the 100 day challenge. And uh, I haven't told you, but even while I've been here, I got some, I'll read it to you. Okay, it says artistic jewellery designer Megan Castron has a quest to convince US talk show host Oprah Winfrey to visit Australia. Megan, who met Oprah last year at a taping of the show in Chicago, has the tickets in her hand for a show on January 22nd and will attend with friend Lilu Mace. They met through an internet group called the 100 Day Challenge. Megan knows what she wants to say to Oprah if they meet again. I've had the kettle on waiting for your visit to Melbourne. So that was in the social pages in the Herald Sun, right? So that was a really nice bit of press for the 100 day challenge. It was also a really nice little bit of press for me. And so when I went to Oprah, of course, it was my desire to speak to Oprah. And guess what? I was the only one in the whole audience who did get to speak to her. So um, I don't always go, hey, that was my intention and that was my manifestation, but I put all my stuff on there. So you saw in my video when I went to Oprah that yes, I did get to talk to her and it was amazing. And I got to ask her if she's coming to Australia and, and all that sort of stuff. Now, the other thing that I wanted to say was I really do believe in the law of attraction and I believe that you can do that sort of thing. But I think that only takes you so far. For example, the Oprah thing. When I was there, if I'd have just sat there and looked at Oprah standing three feet away from me, I could have done that, but Oprah's not going to turn around and go, oh, Megan, you're here. How fantastic. I haven't seen you for a year. No, she's not going to do that, is she? So you have to grab an opportunity as well. You can't just sort of think, um, oh, it's just going to all float into me. I am one for grabbing opportunities as well as manifesting. So I think that's really important. So, um, so the other thing, the 100 day challenge, I really like to be a support to people and encourage people when they're doing stuff as well. So if I don't always list my goals and, and my intentions and, and well, I kind of do, but generally I'm setting an example. And if you read Jerry and Esther Hicks, it actually says that the best thing you can do is to set the example and show people that that's how it's working. So that's what the 100 day challenge means to me. And I hope that's okay that I don't always say my goals. And that was all. Anyway, last night when I was in Aspen, I, um, I met this man who was spray painting t-shirts and things. And it was fantastic. And I said, oh, I'd love to give that a go. I think I'd be able to do that. And he said, oh, would you like to try? So he let me try. So I might put that on the end if I haven't waffled on too long here. But he let me have a go and it was really great fun. And I could do it a little bit. Um, and, and then afterwards he said to me, he said, you know what? He said, so many people come up and they go, oh, I could never do that. And he goes, you know what? They're right, because that's what they think. So it was fun to meet someone who also thinks exactly the same way as me. Bye everyone, next time you see me, I'll be home in Australia. Bye. I was gonna put the painting one on after this, but it's far too long. So I'll, I'll do another video of it either later today or when I get home. Bye everyone.